What's up guys, it's RevJ again. It's been a couple weeks since I put a video up and recently I acquired uh, some of the, ooh it's bright, some of the uh, Andrew Jones uh, bookshelf speakers, the six and a half inches from ELAC or ELAC. These are the same ones you guys saw like tested and a lot of people talk about uh, from CES and a lot of the big shows this year. They had their own little private sort of side room and everybody was talking about the sound quality of these things. I ordered a set, I think it was like 280 bucks, and so far I'm really happy with them, but because they were much larger in physical dimensions than my old speakers, uh, I have to go ahead and make a stand to put them at the right height. And I wanted to do that because I don't want to go buy something again. I just bought the speakers. Let's make a stand. I went ahead and picked up uh, a two by 12 board here, just a rough two by 12 board in decent shape. I've got these here for a base and attachment point and some 18 inch black pipe. And the idea, is that we are going to cut down the 2x12 into an upper and lower ba uh, base and an upper stand, basically. Make this as the conjoining part here. Finish it, router it, do all that fun stuff, and have a stand. So first things first, I gotta go ahead and get this marked up and cut into four basic boards, upper and lower like shelves, and then sort of an adapter board here, a riser board here in the middle. I needed at least 85 by 10 The width of the board makes it a little closer to 11 I also cut two three and a half by four and a half squares, not shown. I marked each piece, then pulled out the router to do the corners. Using the flange as a template, I drilled four holes. Then the whole thing could be secured with deck screws. I can repeat the process on the top just with the single board and shorter hardware. And the black pipe threads into the base and the upper. All right guys, so I went ahead and finished up the sanding yesterday, got it all screwed together, which you guys saw in the first clip there. Went ahead and test fit everything uh, in my house, my living room, just to see how I like the look of it. It's also a good time to go ahead and level those stands. The pipe threads aren't 100% level, so it's possible that your stands might not be level either once you get the speaker onto them. I went ahead and just uh, leveled mine out using a little bit of extra card stock and adjusting the bolts on the bottom. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy to do. That's all done. I also went ahead, wiped off any extra loose dirt, and used a little bit of like rubbing alcohol and cleaning shit on a uh, paper towel or a rag, I think I used a paper towel, to try to degrease the black pipe a little bit. Black pipe is notoriously dirty, so are all the fittings. I'm gonna go ahead, I've got some primer and some paint below me here. 
I've already wiped these down. You can see the stands in the background. Could I unscrew it and paint them separate and put it back together? Yes. However, it's been leveled as a unit. I'm going to go ahead and put feet on the bottom of it. That's how I want to leave it. So I'm going to go ahead and start coating these things. Alright guys, so the base coat looks pretty good. Uh, I did about two and a half coats on both the pipes and the upper and lower here. Um, and it looks pretty solid. Gave it adequate time to dry because it's a beautiful day today. Sorry about the road noise because apparently everybody else wants to be out and doing stuff as well. Uh, gonna go ahead and grab the top coat, which is gonna be semi-gloss protective enamel. So two to three coats, like I did the primer, uh, top, bottom, pipe thing in the middle and hopefully it should dry pretty good. I haven't used this exact paint but it's a semi gloss black that's the look we're going for so I guess I'm gonna put the bandana on here so I don't have to inhale this or as much of it I don't think the bandana actually stops that much but it gives me the sense that it does and I can go ahead and finish painting the stands. Around 24 hours later, everything's dry. I'm also adding some felt feet to the bottom of the stand so it doesn't scratch the wood. I can put the stands into their place, verify one more time that they're level, and mount the speakers. The stands look good, the speakers sound good. Now if only I had a better TV and could do something about these cable management issues, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.